What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, so we're actually starting the week on like, I don't know. I don't know why I don't feel like my vlogs have to be started on a certain day, but it is Monday. Cholula's itching himself over here and Squirtle is in his little spot. We're gonna have a productive week together. I have a good amount of things I wanna do this week because I am leaving town on Saturday. So I just always feel like I have, you know, like work to catch up on before I leave town so I don't have to work while I'm gone and stuff like that. Cholula wants to leave. Let me let him out. Oh, he's more of a daddy's boy. You go back to daddy. Bye bye. Yeah, he's more of Jared's dog and Squirtle's kind of more of my dog, which has been working out, I will say. Cholula's a little more independent when me and Squirtle are kind of upstairs. And then when Jared's here, he just always wants to be on top, like on top of him, like licking his face. Yeah, it's going to be a productive week together. I'm working two days this week, so tomorrow and Wednesday. Other than that, I have a few like appointments. I'm going to get my nails done before I leave town today is it's already like i think it's already like three o'clock or something i've been doing some work stuff today and i'm about to get some editing in so today's kind of just get some stuff done in advance for the week like as much as i kind of can i filmed a video for my patreon over the weekend that was like a fun it was like a reacting to my old room tours and apartment tours video so if any of you guys want to see that it should be up by the time this vlog is up so i can't link it up here because it's not like well, it's on YouTube, but it's like for Patreon only. So I'll link it down below in the description box if you guys do want to go check it out. And I'll put like a thumbnail on the screen. Yeah, this week's just going to be a lot of like prepping for the weekend. I'm leaving for DC on Saturday morning um, with my sister. We're going to go see Beyonce. I'm going to stay in DC for like three, four days. I've actually never really explored DC. I've only briefly been there um, to like fly into the airport or I've been there for like an hour barely so like I really haven't actually been so I'm really excited to have like a sister DC we're staying right in the city um, I'm just really excited for that so, so we'll do some packing together later in the week and decide what I'm gonna wear for sure to Beyonce because I'm narrowed down to a couple outfits I feel like it's gonna be a good week I'm about to just sit and do some editing like I said and then I'm gonna go work out in like two hours so today's not the most exciting but we just have some stuff we need to get done so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit I guess when I'm done with some work and see what else we're gonna get into today and tonight and this week workout outfit of the night as usual my set is from girlfriend i just noticed these leggings are kind of tight on me they're small and i go like in between the small and medium and the leggings and these are a little tight so i'm gonna see how these feel to work out tonight but i might end up like selling these or something i don't know i guess you kind of want your leggings to be tight though but they feel like a little tight tight so we'll see off to orange theory i'm doing like three classes this week hopefully i'm signed up for three classes because i've been kind of lacking lately and i like took a random two weeks off that i told you guys in my last vlog so now i have like my classes i need to use up before they expire because i get eight classes a month so i'm trying to use them up this week before i head out of town so hopefully we'll do three classes this week and i always i always forget one little piece of hair right here when i'm putting my hair up I don't understand, but it always happens. All right, guys, I'm so excited to talk to you about this video's sponsor, Lily Silk. I have seen a lot of their products before and I've always been wanting to try them. So thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So not all silk is created equal and Lily Silk only uses 100% natural premium materials like mulberry silk and Mongolian cashmere. And Lily Silk produces items from natural fibers and not synthetic. The first thing I've been trying out from them is their silk pillowcases. You guys probably know some of the benefits of silk pillowcases, but they are amazing for your hair and skin if you haven't tried them yet. So their pillowcases are made from 100% mulberry silk. They benefit your skin and your hair to sleep on. They come in multiple color and size options. I just have these light ivory ones, which kind of match with my bedspread, but there's so many pretty colors to choose from and different size options too. I have the queen but they have a king and I believe a standard size as well and these are free of any harmful chemicals and they're very high quality silk pillowcases they're not all made the same you guys and of course the best part is how soft and comfortable they are to sleep on and just like cool feeling 
All their products are also toxin free with an Ocotex certification. Something I also really appreciate about Lily Silk is that they are committed to becoming more zero waste and they actually have a partnership with TerraCycle to take hard to recycle products and transform those into new products. So customers can send back their used Lily Silk bedding, apparel, and sleepwear to be recycled for free with TerraCycle. Next thing I've been trying from them is this wireless bra now. If you guys know me, I feel like I've talked about this in videos before, but I absolutely hate and do not wear real bras at all. The only types of bras I wear are bralettes like this that are completely comfortable, but this one is still supportive. It does have some padding in here that gives you a little bit of a lift, but you can actually remove it if you want to and just have the really soft wireless bra. So I got the nude color because this is just kind of closest to my skin tone, but they have tons of colors to choose from, of course. If you guys can kind of see just how like stretchy and comfortable and soft looking this material is on camera. It's also completely seamless, so it doesn't like show those weird bra marks under your shirt. It's breathable and there's tons of colors to choose from, like I said. All right, I'm gonna back up to show you guys this absolutely beautiful silk midi skirt. I'm gonna also try it on for you guys and kind of show you how I've been styling it so this also is a hundred percent mulberry silk it's extremely breathable it has this beautiful slit right here on the side and i feel like a slit in a skirt is just so flattering it comes in three different neutral color options i got the ivory one it feels extremely high quality it is so soft I feel like it's such a flattering length with the slit. And this is pretty much how I've been styling it. It can easily go from, for any season really, with this color. So that's kind of another reason I really liked this color. Their silk feels luxurious and buttery soft and super high quality to wear. And it also still feels really, really breathable and comfortable. And Lily Silk is actually worn and loved by celebrities like Gigi Hadid here in this photo. She was recently wearing them. So I do have a couple discounts for you guys. So I have 12% off everything on lily silk with the discount code hughes12 and then the code hughes15 will get you 15 percent off your order if your order value is 350 dollars usd or more i'll have a link down below to all of these three products the wireless bra silk skirt and their silk pillowcases that i showed you guys and you can check out all of their products in the top of the description box down below and don't forget to use those coupon codes to get yourself a little bit of a discount and now let's get back to the rest of the vlog. All right, I'm back home. I did in fact work out. I just haven't been recording like those clips in the car where I'm like, I mean, I have been a little bit, but like, oh, I just finished my workout and this is what we did. I feel like I never like have that much to say. It's a really, really hard class tonight. It was like, I still have sweat just grossly. Yeah, I need a shower later, but not yet. I'm starving and I'm one of those people I have to like eat as soon as I get home from one of my workouts. I was not feeling inspired tonight though. Like I really just, not that I am not like enjoying when I come up with a recipe and cooking and stuff, but I just haven't been prioritizing like finding recipes and like planning what I'm gonna make for dinner at all. And it's just been like a last minute thought. I feel like it's a, more of a summer, that's more of a summer thing for me, having that mindset as opposed to like, I feel like there's not as much to do in the winter and it's dark and it's like, oh, let's come up with a recipe. I feel like I have more fun cooking in like the fall and winter, to be honest, but I'm so hungry and I need to eat something now. So I'm just gonna have some Annie's mac and cheese and I'm gonna make like a salad to have on the side. So I feel, you know, <laughs> slightly better. Just a lazy girl dinner, but I'm like shaky. I'm so hungry right now.
exhausted for some reason tonight you guys I got a good sleep last night so I think it's just post dinner you know after you eat you get like tired so hopefully I'll wake up a little bit it just hit me I've just been doing a little bit of tidying did a quick vacuum of like just the kitchen it takes me a, a bit to vacuum the whole like main area down here and the kitchen gets the worst so I was like let's just do the kitchen and like wipe the counters and put away the stuff most of the stuff that was on the counters and I'm gonna go upstairs and put away our laundry really quick while I watch something I've been watching dance moms I watched it when I was a teenager with my sister and we didn't ever like finish it I think we probably watched the first like I don't really remember but we probably watched the first like three seasons is what I would think and then I stopped watching it like I never finished it just started season two and it's just prime like it's so dramatic insane it's just a complete like i've been watching it so much i'll literally play it on my phone while i'm like getting ready and i've been watching it in the shower yes you heard me <laughs> i've been watching it in the shower on my bluetooth speaker just like propping my phone up on the shelf in the shower it's truly deranged but you know what it's been keeping me entertained so i'm gonna probably go watch an episode of dance moms while i do the laundry and then i might take a bath i mean they're gonna do like an epsom salt bath or a shower i can't really decide i might just do a shower because if i get in the bath i'll be in there for an hour and a half and all of a sudden it'll be time for bed all right let's go do this laundry and watch some dance moms quickly finishing getting ready for work i just did my hair that was kind of the priority today i kind of slept in a little bit today and we're like mm, i probably just won't do much for my makeup today which i kind of have some zits here so maybe i should have done face makeup but i think all i'm gonna have time for is a little bit of eyes maybe some under eye concealer today we're doing a kitchen and pantry with four of us. I'm pretty excited. I I think this is like a new warehouse that they moved into and we're like setting it up. Yeah, so that should be fun seeing the before and after. I feel like it's gonna be really pretty and I'm excited. I need to leave the house in like pretty much 10 minutes. I just have to go downstairs. I already packed my lunch. I'm only working like, I think it's 15 minutes away from my house, which is pretty close. It's not that bad. So I'm excited about that. I got to sleep in like 20 extra minutes, which was nice. I think I'll probably just talk to you guys after work and let you know how it goes. So I'll see you in a few hours. Hi you guys, just finished up work about 10 minutes ago. We finished at 4.30 today. So it's a pretty full day. It was good though. Today I got some more practice doing like kitchen and pantry i think i already told you guys that but um it actually ended up being like a double team project today so i was with a team i've got to turn my ac up y'all know how it is i was with a team of three other girls so four of us and then i think there was either three or four other girls that were working in the same house upstairs on the same client's closet so i got to see like more people than I thought I was going to get to today and my team lead gave me the choice of either doing like helping with the closet or helping with the kitchen and pantry. I went with kitchen and pantry because I just need more practice doing kitchen stuff specifically like how to organize the drawers with a large kitchen with which most of the kitchen spaces we do are pretty big kitchens. Um, I just need more practice in that stuff so i'm glad that i got to have some more practice today and tomorrow i'm actually doing another kitchen and pantry so it'll be a double day of that which is good i love doing a pantry but yeah i am gonna make an errand before i go home so i want to show you guys so i have this pair of boots that i got for beyonce not only 
but just for like events and concerts and fun stuff and I'll show you guys them because they're oh, the box just fell on the ground they're so fun and cute can y'all even see that on camera yeah they're amazing the brand is Matisse I bought these at a local boutique here on Sunday or something and I knew they had them because I had seen them a few months ago and I was shopping and I was like those are amazing and I was thinking about you know what I want to wear for, for Beyonce and I thought those would be totally perfect plus like they'd be so fun to just wear for like concerts and fun events like that in general you know I tried them on the store and I'm like typically in boots I'm like a seven and a half I'm either a seven or seven and a half in shoes anyway they only ended up having like a seven and an eight I tried on the seven I did bring socks when I tried them on but they were like really thin socks and I I mean they fit but the toe box of these is super super like narrow and I have a wider foot so I kind of felt like not pressured to buy them but I was like oh I'll be able to like stretch them out I'll be able to make them work they felt a little tight on my toes but then I decided to get them because I was walking around and my heel was not like fully slipping out like they felt I like my boots to honestly be like a little bit roomy than like super tight and not like your heels gonna kind of slip out a little bit I don't know at least for me with like cowboy boots and stuff so I decided to buy them and I thought I would try to wear them like th this week and with socks around the house and like break them in but I swear as soon as I tried them on once I got home I was walking around for like 30 seconds and I was like there's no way I can make these shoes work I should have gone a seven and a half but they didn't have it at the store like I told you guys but apparently the brand makes these in a seven and a half so I did a little research and I found out that they have a shoe that looks exactly like this but it's cheaper from Betsy Johnson at DSW so I'm just gonna go and get those because I looked online and they have a seven and a seven and a half so I'm gonna return these sadly I would love to support my local store but they only had a seven and an eight and I just don't think the eight's gonna work for me and I could get the shoes for cheaper at DSW and they look exactly the same morning you guys it's Wednesday we're back at another job I was pretty tired this morning I'm still a little tired but I'm waking up I got to the job pretty early like 15 almost 15 minutes early today which is surprising but better to be early than to be running late so I guess I just drove here pretty fast today yesterday I guess I didn't really vlog that much more after work I did go ahead and return the shoes and today hopefully on my way home I'm gonna be able to go pick up the other ones so I'll show you guys those um, and then I did do a brief grocery shop Jared wanted some dr. pepper and I was like okay I have a few things on my list and it's on the way home and then last night Jared just made me dinner and we watched a movie we watched um, what was it called I can't remember what it was called but it had BJ Novak as the main actor and the writer who's from the office it, he plays Ryan in the office and I really liked it I guess I was just kind of tired and I didn't really feel like vlogging yesterday and there wasn't like you know I wasn't doing that much but I'll try to be a little bit better today because I don't mean to like shut down on days that I have work I just feel like most of the day I'm like super productive so then after that I just kind of like retreat and I'm really quiet and I don't have a lot I want to like say or do you know what I mean but today we're doing another kitchen pantry yeah I actually need to like peek at the job notes really quick while I have a couple minutes because there's usually like some notes in there about what we're doing but I'm working with like all the same girls that I worked with yesterday it's like everybody is the same Oh, it's a really pretty, oh, it's a pretty kitchen. I will talk to you guys when I'm off. I want to do a few more things today, like, and tonight, kind of after work. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't have that much to say. I feel like in the mornings, I just don't have a lot of energy. So that's, that's the update. I will chat with you guys. Do I have muffin on my t-shirt? Probably. I've been eating muffins and it just, oh yeah, I do. The crumbs get everywhere. <laughs> but I'll chat with you guys um, later this afternoon when we're finished up.
I love you guys. My hair looks a little nuts after today. I tried to do like these cute pigtails this morning, but I feel like it wasn't actually cute and I should have done like little, just done my buns like this instead. Well, you know what I mean. Like make them just try harder on them because they kept like, they pretty much were like falling out by the end of the day and I just pulled them out, but then I feel like it just looks like really messy and I look kind of greasy right now, but it was a full day at the office, all right? Squish Mallow down. Connor the cow has taken a fall. Me and my weenie is already here. Today we did the most beautiful kitchen pantry. Oh my gosh, it was just such a beautiful space, honestly. Like, so big, so spacious. They had like two kitchen islands and there were so many drawers and cabinets and just like so much storage space, which I love. It was so cool how it all came together. I wish I could show you guys, but maybe by the time tomorrow when I edit this, we'll already have the pictures or the video, like the reel posted on Instagram. So possibly I will insert it here, but if not, I'll repost it on my story whenever um, Tidy Style posts it because it was such a beautiful space. It just turned out really good. We worked pretty long today. We worked until I think like five, a, five, it was either 5 or 5.10 how we finished up so it's a little bit longer than yesterday on my way home I filmed this so I'll either have already put that in by now or I'll put it in after this but I went to DSW and I ended up getting like guys I think these are the exact same pair pair of shoes but it's from Betsy Johnson instead of the other ones I showed you guys were from the brand Matisse and when I tell you they look identical like I would have to hold them side by side to even see if there was any any difference because I honestly think they're the exact same shoe which is so weird to me like how can a brand have the exact same product like literally exact same as another brand I don't know but these ones were more affordable they were on sale for $149 and then I got $10 off because I joined this DSW rewards program whenever I got my Birkenstocks from there like earlier this spring and I got $10 off so I ended up really like yeah I saved probably like either 60 or $70 off of what I would have spent at the other store so I'm actually really glad that I had like the initial not being able to find my size because that then that prompted me to go and find the same shoes for less and yeah I didn't support a local store which isn't as good i would have liked to these are the boots i mean you guys saw them yesterday they're literally the exact same but yay i ended up um trying on another pair because betsy johnson also makes these in like two or three other styles they had these um in not a cowboy boot but it was still like very similar to this it just had a jeweled rhinestone heel and they were a little bit more pointy which these are already pretty pointy you can tell but i tried those on and at first i was like you know what i really like these and those were actually cheaper i think they were like 40 bucks cheaper even than these so i was like oh maybe i should get those ones um and they were really cool i really liked them and i was about to post on my instagram story to let you guys decide and then i kind of was just like no Lindsay, like you're more of a you're more of a cowgirl you know like these and they're just a little more casual so yeah run don't walk <laughs> apparently tons of girls got these for like the eras tour that's what the the girl that i talked to that worked at dsw is telling me she's like oh my gosh those flew off our shelves really happy i was able to find those in the right size this time it was a whole saga i've literally gone three days this week in search of these shoes you know what i mean it was like a three day saga for the boots i am going to change out of my work clothes because i feel like 90 percent of this vlog i've been wearing <laughs> my work shirts and i'm just gonna like go downstairs and do some stuff on my laptop and relax with jared and the dogs tomorrow we'll go do some stuff look how tragic my nails look two of them broke and they're so long. I think tomorrow, I'll tell y'all before I go ahead and do it. I'm gonna get my nails removed and I'm just gonna try and rock my natural nails and attempt to grow them out. Um, yeah, I booked a removal and a gel manicure. These are just way too long and they've been, like I said, they've been breaking. I mean, I've only had these done for like two and a half weeks, almost three weeks, and two of them broke, 
which just means that they're too long and it is hard, hard a little bit with work having longer nails so i think it'll just be for the best honestly i don't know this is feel free to fast forward if you don't care to listen to me talk about nails <laughs> but um i really like how fake nails make my fingers look because i um am a little self-conscious of my fingers i have i've always had chubbier fingers and short toes and my fingers are a little bit chubbier and i feel like what i do really like about having long nails it just makes them look really like feminine and they look elongated and they make my fingers look a little bit thinner i'm not gonna lie i mean i feel like that you know the elongation creates that illusion so i am i've been pretty reliant on fake nails for years and years and years now i only really didn't have them for like a year during um you know quarantine when you couldn't really get your nails done but yeah we'll see how it goes i mean i could always i could always switch back let me know if any of y'all are on a nail journey if anyone else has like been kind of reliant on or just even like used to you know what I mean I'm not saying like I you know couldn't see my life without having fake nails I've had my real nails like a lot or just you know had my nails done but they're sorry I'm talking about this so much but let me know if anyone is on a nail journey if anyone has any advice for like getting used to just your like more natural nails again and feeling more confident about them because it honestly is a thing you thing you get like really dependent on always having your nails like long and elegant and stuff and I don't know I feel like it's kind of hard to like switch your brain into thinking like short nails are more cute but I feel like I can do it because I know I did it for like a year in 2020 <laughs> and it doesn't mean that I can't still have like fun getting my nails done regularly sorry if that sounded like shallow or something i don't know it's just honestly the truth getting my nails done is just kind of like a part of me you know what i mean i don't think i'll ever be a be a person that like doesn't get their nails done because i really really like having my nails look good so i think that's important to me even if it sounds kind of stupid okay guys now that i've talked your ear off about nonsense um i'm gonna go downstairs and do some editing and do some laptop stuff i need to do some other work stuff besides for my part-time job i need to chat with my managers that sent like a week my weekly update all right guys we're finally having some dinner it's like 8 40. didn't really know what we wanted to make tonight i didn't want to have like meat or chicken tonight i don't know i just feel like we've been having so much chicken so we basically just made like some veggies some rice and some parmesan garlic potatoes here's the salad i whipped up i haven't put the dressing on yet because sometimes we don't finish this and it's good to keep the leftovers bunch of stuff on the salad tonight some parm cucumbers um, bell peppers, dried cranberries, we roasted some cashews, some romaine, pretty much every, all the veggies that were in the fridge, cherry tomatoes. Hello, beautiful. The potatoes are getting parmed. We did some peppers in the potatoes too, I actually forgot about that. We just have a bunch of these mini peppers, so figured why not use them? And lastly, we're having some rice peel off. I don't know, it's kind of a random meal, but gonna be really good morning you guys i am headed to get my nails done so excited honestly um yeah i just did a order pickup for starbucks on the way here and i timed it like perfectly i literally walked into the store and she's like Lindsay, we have your blah 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 and I'm like damn i was good today love like the pickup option honestly especially when you're like kind of in a hurry and you don't want to like have to wait in line or like wait in the drive through or anything it's just really convenient so i tried a new drink today i was craving something like chocolatey and i kind of like i don't know i kind of forgot about like starbucks just has so many options and i like how on the app you can like see the full menu and some of the stuff that just like they have so many drinks that like aren't on the menu menu you know what i mean but they're like deep in the menu i don't know if that makes sense but anyway today i tried the iced chocolate almond milk espresso like shaken espresso except i got it with oat milk and instead of almond milk and I added chocolate cream cold foam because I remember I've had the chocolate cream cold foam whenever they have the um you know I've just tried it like once before and I remember I really liked it and yeah this is super good it literally tastes like a chocolate milk espresso it's super creamy really good I'm really glad I tried it this is probably one of my new favorite drinks I forgot how good the chocolate cream cold foam is I'm gonna drive over, over to my nail appointment now that's in three minutes so I feel, feel like I should time it pretty good but 
Morning, you guys. Feeling good today. It's gonna be a good day. I'm in a good mood, and I'll chat with you after I get my nails done. Hi. All right, I'm done. That didn't take as long as my usual appointments, even though I had to get the removal. So love that. I feel like my appointments, if I continue with this, will be pretty quick, which is nice because usually I'm in there for like two to three hours for my appointments, which I know is a while, but I feel like if you get acrylic and nail art and all that stuff, you understand. Let me give you guys an up close. I actually really like my nails, how they turned out. I feel like they're short, but they're not too short and they'll just grow. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully they'll grow from this point on. She put a gel builder onto my nails since they, you know, were like thin and weak so hopefully that'll help they need to like build up their strength and all, all that but this color i thought was really cute it was actually 444 something like sweet or something i don't know i thought it was a really pretty color good for like something that has a little bit of color but it's still like really neutralish in case my nails you know break or rip yeah i'm actually pleasantly surprised how much i like them i typically don't go for like a square nail but since they're shorter i don't love the look of like a super rounded nail you know so i did like square with rounded corners and ideally they would be like a little bit more long than this when i would get this shape but you know they're just starting off pretty short because i had to start off with like the length of my shortest natural nails and then we had like the ones that were longer we obviously had to like cut down to make sure they were all pretty much the same also you guys i am obsessed with this drink i know i was telling you but oh my gosh this is so good the chocolate shaken espresso add oat milk instead of almond milk and add chocolate cream cold foam this is like gonna be my new drink it's delicious just the chocolate cream cream cold foam is like i seriously forgot how good it was i know i already talked about this too in this vlog but i need to head home it's not even noon yet i'm like feeling so good today because like i said usually i'm prepared to be at the nail salon for like three hours and it just takes up a lot of the day and today i'm already gonna like be home and it's just gonna be noon so i am gonna get some editing done today some work some emails we're gonna have a little office day and then i want to start on my packing all right so this is my initial fit for the concert this statement piece obviously is these amazing pants, these like flared pocket satin pants that I'm renting of course from Newly. The boots look so nice with these I feel like and then this bodysuit that I actually showed in my last vlog that I um, got on thread up from Princess Polly and I just have some like pasties on under it and it's pretty, it's pretty comfortable honestly. I'll definitely do like more of a tan for the concert and you know accessories and not wear my hair up but this is the initial outfit. The only thing I wanna do, like I was telling you guys is, I mean, the pants, honestly, like, they're kinda of cute down here, but my heel kinda of like trips over them. So I feel like they just look more snatched, right? Like a little bit more high-waisted. And then it would hopefully be, I mean, I might still trip, honestly, these are pretty long. But I wanna, yeah, safety pin them, which I'll probably either do in the back or maybe I can do like, each of the sides, I don't know. Okay, I'm in the super beginning stages of packing. I just like literally threw some stuff down in my carry-on because I want to try and fit everything in a carry-on for this trip because I'm flying United for one of mine and I don't want to pay for a bag. So we're gonna try and fit in the carry-on. I think it should be pretty doable. The only thing I ever worry about is like shoes like this because they tape up, take up a little more room. But I think I will just bring these Probably these nude ones and then wear my Birkenstocks on the plane as like my comfort shoe But I might do white tennis shoes instead. We'll see. I laid a couple Skirts and this is actually a bodysuit. I just like it's one arm So it's really difficult to hang something like this because it doesn't have one of those Arm hanging things. You know what I mean? I have like three skirts right here I'm like in a skirt phase, I guess. I have a bunch of like cute bottoms picked out. I think this is probably all the packing I'm gonna do for like at least right now. It's only like 4.45 right now. I did a good amount of editing. I submitted, Jared just got home from work so the dogs are barking. I submitted my integration that I needed to for this vlog and I'm getting ready to go to Pilates at 5.30 and then I think I'm just gonna hang out with Jared tonight. 
and it's been a good day yeah so i feel good i took a little break from my editing i think i'll probably continue it like tomorrow because i was getting a little bit just tired of staring at the computer screen i like to kind of do my editing over two days ideally if i have enough time hi you guys it's friday i was considering having this vlog go a little longer but i kind of have a good amount of stuff to do today before i leave tomorrow i've already been running errands and i worked out and now i'm having some lunch so i think i'll just end the vlog off here but i know it's kind of a different one we didn't like show the normal stuff as always i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it really helps me out and if any of you guys want to check out my patreon video that i did reacting to my old room and like apartment tours that'll be linked down below and i will see you guys next week for another video love you so much hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you soon bye